Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're good. So I would like to turn around and let's face the camera and let's wave to all our friends who are worshiping with us online this morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what do I have with me this morning? Bread and juice. It's a little piece of bread and a tiny cup of juice. So when you see these two things, what do you think of? You think of Jesus, church, and what specifically in church? Did Jesus is blood and body. We've got some kids here who know their stuff. So what do we call this? Do you know? It's on a silver plate, yes. Absolutely. A sugar plate? Server. Sorry. Server plate. So, what do we call this up here? A stand. There's a stand. Do we call it the Lord's Supper or communion? Have you heard those terms before? So we're actually going to celebrate the Lord's Supper today, a little bit later in worship. And I would like for you to guess how many times Christians have celebrated the Lord's Supper in this sanctuary, gathered around this table. Um, and I'm actually counting all the times that we did the Lord's Supper during COVID because we were actually gathered together here virtually, right? So take a wild guess. It is not more than a thousand. Ooh, good question. How long have we been gathered around this table in this sanctuary? We opened this building in the year 2000. Am I right? Yes, I would do. So, 22 years. So, so do you want me to just tell you? Because we do it 12 times. We do it once a month. Yeah, and then we also do it on Monday, Thursday, and then on Easter. So I calculated it all up, and I'm saying approximate because there's been probably some times in there that I've missed, approximately 252 times. 362, possibly. It could have happened. It could have happened. So what is the Lord's Supper? What are we doing here when we do this? Okay, we're representing Jesus' death. And this is considered a sacrament in our tradition. So can you say the word sacrament? Sacrament. sacrament. It comes from the word sacred. Sacrament, sacred, they, they sound alike. So that's where the word comes from. Sacred. And secret, possibly. I hadn't thought of that. But if it's sacred, that means it's holy. And... Um, a sacrament is going to be something that is special and connects us to God, something that Jesus has instructed us to do. Now, we have two sacraments in the Presbyterian Church USA. The first one is the Lord's Supper, which we're doing today. And the second one is baptism. And we're going to have a baptism next Sunday. So both of these sacraments are very, very important, and they remind us of God's love for us, and they are traditions that we do together, and as we celebrate what it means to be God's family. So, let's talk about where this came from. When Jesus was eating his very last meal on earth with his friends, he broke a loaf of bread, and he shared it with them. Then he poured a cup of wine, and he shared that then with them too. But we don't use wine, do we? No, we use grape juice. That's fine. And then he told his friends to remember him by sharing the bread and the cup with each other in the future. Now, when we come to this table, and we eat this bread, and we drink this juice, we are remembering God's love for us, giving to us by Jesus. Now, we are doing it together to represent our unity and our connection to each other. Now, what about our friends worshiping online? 
Are we still celebrating the Lord's Supper with them? Absolutely. We are always together in spirit. Now, we have celebrated the sacrament of the Lord's Supper as a church family. How many times at this table? 252. Now, that's not to say this congregation has done it many times before that in our old building. So I'm just talking about this building. But 252 times. And in doing so, we're remembering God's love for us and our connection to each other as Christians each and every day. You guys ready to pray with me? All right, repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sacred ways to connect with you. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to show us your love. And thank you for the connection of our church family. Amen. All right, you guys can go back to your pews.